Now let's see some very brief details regarding the internal pudendal vessels as well as the pudendal nerve. The internal pudendal artery it is one of the terminal branch of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery which is going to leave the pelvis through the greater sciatic foramina and when this artery it is passes it on the medial side of it the pudendal nerve lies which is going to be formed by S2, S3 and S4 ventral rami. Then this pudendal nerve it is going to rest on the dorsal surface of the ischial spine and then it appears within the pelvis through the lesser sciatic foramina as soon as it reaches the pelvic cavity it is going to enter into the pudendal canal and it runs within the pudendal canal and going to enter up to the deep perineal pouch. So here in this figure this is the pudendal canal which is present within the lateral wall of the ischiorectal fossa. It is also called as Alcox canal and here this bluish area it is the deep perineal pouch and this deep perineal pouch having the superior layer so this internal pudendal artery it is going to provide one branch and this branch it is for the inferior aspect of the rectum and that is called as inferior rectal artery After giving this inferior rectal artery, this internal pudendal artery at the anterior aspect of the pudendal canal, it gives one more branch and this branch it is going to pass within the deep perineal pouch and going to pierce the perineal membrane and gives off the two posterior scrotal arteries and this branch it is called as perineal branch. These posterior scrotal arteries they are going to pass through the superficial perineal pouch after piercing the perineal membrane. After giving this perineal branch it gives one branch that is called as the artery to the bulb of the penis or the vestibule and this artery it is going to supply the bulb of the penis or the vestibule along with the vagina in case of female. And this artery it is also going to pierce the perineal membrane. After giving this artery to the bulb of the penis, this internal pudendal artery it also gives one urethral branch and this urethral branch which is given in the anterior part of the deep perineal pouch and this urethral branch it is going to supply the urethra up to the glands of the penis. And then this internal pudendal artery is going to terminate into two branches. One is the dorsal artery of the penis as well as the deep artery of the penis. And this deep artery of the penis or clitoris it is going to pierce the perineal membrane and going to enter the crush penis or the clitoris to supply the erectile tissue of the corpus cavernosum while this dorsal artery of the penis or the clitoris is also going to pierce the perineal membrane and it runs upwards between the crush penis or the clitoris and the pubic symphysis and it is present dorsal to the penis or the clitoris and it passes forward between the two layers of the suspensory ligament of the penis or the clitoris now when we see the pudendal nerve, this pudendal nerve as we already talked that it is going to arise from the ventral rami of the S2, S3 and S4 which is going to follow the internal pudendal vessels and it also enter within the pudendal canal and within the pudendal canal it gives off one branch that is called as the inferior rectal nerve and after giving the inferior rectal nerve it will divide into two terminal branches one is called as the dorsal nerve of the penis or the clitoris and one is the perineal nerve and the perineal nerve which is going to divide into two branches superficial and the deep branches 
the deep branches they are going to supply the muscles of the superficial as well as the deep perineal pouches while the superficial branch which is going to pass within the superficial perineal pouch and going to supply the posterior aspect of this scrotum by giving the two posterior scrotal nerves so all these are the branches of the internal pudendal artery as well as the pudendal nerve so within the perineal pouch we can say two posterior scrotal vessels which are the branches of the internal pudendal vessels are present and along with them the two posterior scrotal nerves which are the branches of the pudendal nerve are present and along with this structures one more nerve is also going to present within the superficial perineal pouch and this branch it is called as the perineal branch of the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve so here in this figure we can see this is the coronal section of the urogenital region of the male and where we can see this is the bladder and this one is the prostate and here this is the urethra which is going to pass through the deep perineal pouch and that is the membranous urethra and here this is the bulb of the penis this is the membranous urethra and this one is the bulb of the penis so it is a bulbar urethra here this is the coronal section so at the lower most side this is the skin of the urogenital region or the urogenital triangle with the subcutaneous tissue of the fatty layer and it is covered by the membrane that is called as the coolis fascia just further upward we can see this area it is the superficial perineal pouch area and this muscle which is wrapped around the crush of the penis and this muscle it is called as the ischiocavernosus muscle while the muscle which is wrapped around the bulb of the penis this muscle it is called as the bulbospongiosus muscle while within the superficial fascia we find so many other nerves and the vessels we have already learned and these are the posterior scrotal nerves as well as the posterior scrotal vessels which we are able to see here within this figure and just above the superficial perineal pouch it is bounded by one membrane and that membrane it is called as the perineal membrane and above the perineal membrane we find the deep perineal pouch which we are going to see in detail shortly so this is the orientation of the superficial perineal pouch along with the content so for the quick revision of the contents of the superficial perineal pouch you can pause this slide and revise it so this is all about the superficial perineal pouch